Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to level up your 2024. Today I'm going to share with you habits that have truly changed my life and make me feel like I am that girl every single day, so keep watching. I feel like I can't start this video without my lip gloss. It's giving ASMR. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys little habits that have truly changed my life and have just made me a very productive person throughout the day. So let's go. First things first is having a set morning routine. I live by this. No matter where I am, it is so important to me. And let me just tell you why. As soon as I wake up, the first thing I do is go to the bathroom. I brush my teeth. I brush my hair. I get ready for the day. I do my skincare. It is so crucial for me. It makes me feel so productive in the morning that it just makes a great tone for the rest of the day. If you do not have a set morning routine, I highly recommend you start because it will literally change your life. Second habit of mine is drinking water first thing in the morning. So as soon as I wake up and I'm doing my morning routine, I love to bring my Stanley into the bathroom with me and I'm just drinking water as I get ready. I'm not chugging. I'm drinking. Do not chug your water in the morning. Drink your water. So if you are not a big water person, I'm a personal trainer. So the way that I like to tell my clients if they're really bad at getting their water intake is having at least one cup kind of like this or something like that and having one cup in the morning when you're getting ready. It will really change your life before you have caffeine, okay? Have a glass of water before you have caffeine, before you drink anything else. I was the person that had coffee first thing in the morning and it gave me the worst midday crash. Like I had to take a nap no matter what. And that's because my cortisol levels, so if this is you, listen up. Your cortisol levels will be completely out of balance if the first thing you're putting into your body is caffeine and sugar. You have to drink water in the morning. Number three is planning your day out. I actually have my planner here with my little notes on my it. My whole life is in here. I could you not. I write everything in here. My notes, my day-to-day -day things, all the events, everything above is in this planner. Plan in my planner every single day. It helps with structure so much. I know it is so like you know, cute and fun to go day by day and just like do whatever you want to do that day. But like sometimes that's the curse of not getting anything done. Don't get me wrong. I love to go day by day with just like, you know, doing whatever I feel that day. But sometimes I cannot do that and I will end up getting nothing done. I will sit on my phone all day. So having a planner, having structure and just the satisfaction of checking things off my box, like in my list is so satisfying to me and I love it. I'm also the person that likes to keep everything in my head and there will be so many things that I know that I need to do and they get jumbled up and they get lost in my head. So it's amazing to have a planner to be able to put everything down onto paper. So planning, planning, planning. It is amazing for structure and I highly recommend, I highly recommend you guys try all these things. Like even just if you pick one thing out and try to do it consistently that week, you're going to see a difference. Fourth habit is designating a full reset day. For me, my reset date is always on Sundays. That is the day I take an everything shower with like hair, shave, eyebrows, do all the things. I will also do my laundry. I will fold my laundry. I will just get my life together and organize my space. I prefer to do my resets on Sunday just because it's a really good restart for the new week. Doing this every Sunday just makes me feel ready to crush the new week and it's something I will never not do. Taking time to get ready. It is so important. Again, I was a person that would, you know, just like go day by day in my PJs. I'm literally in a sweatshirt, but like I'm being comfy right now. But I would be like in a sweatshirt every single day and sweatpants and still in my PJs not change out of my sleeping clothes. And it made me feel so droggy. Like there was no way I was not taking a nap that day. I'm in my PJs. I'm going to go to sleep. Whether that's doing your hair in the morning or just your skincare, your makeup, or just putting on a regular outfit to like accomplish the day is going to change your mindset so much. If you're in jeans and a cute little top and your hair is done and you got makeup on, you're not going to want to be sleeping. And I'm not saying you have to do it every day because I sure as hell don't do it every day, but I do do like my skincare and I'll like brush my hair. Sometimes I'll maybe put a few curls in it or just something that makes me feel good about myself and ready to start the day. So this kind of ties into like getting ready in the morning and having a set morning routine. Last but not least is filling your mind with positive thoughts. I'm a very, mm, I get stressed a lot. Let's just say that I get stressed so much and sometimes I let it take over me and I'm really trying to work on that because if I get stressed throughout the day, I'm not getting anything done. Like I feel so anxious and I just cannot, I like freeze. I start spiraling and I can't get anything done. If like, let's say I was just filming a video for a giveaway, um, also go enter, it's on my Instagram app to buy Paris O'Neill. 
but <laughs> I was trying to film this giveaway and I was so stressed. Like I filmed it three different times. I did not like any of it the way it turned out. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this today. I will shut down and I'm trying not to do that. And I told myself like, I'm not shutting down. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to film it one more time and get it right and do keep doing it until I get it right. And I did. And obviously I got everything up. All is good. So Filling your mind with positive thoughts, it will really change your mindset and it's so important. It's something I'm still working on. Last but not least is working out. Not only is working out good for your overall health, and yes, it will change your appearance and it will do all of these great things to you, but it's really just the outcome. If you go to the gym, you are automatically always going to get an output no matter what. Even if going to the gym isn't your thing, that's okay. Moving your body, going on a walk, going on a run, doing yoga, Pilates, going to a boxing class, all of the above, that is movement, okay? Going to the gym and lifting weights is not the only form of movement, and I want to make that clear. Doing all of those things, you are always going to get an output. You are always going to have a high level of serotonin after you work out. The serotonin I get from working out is absolutely crazy, and that is such a big reason why I love doing it every single day. Just the way that it changes my day is so crazy, and I love that post-workout feeling. Like, it is truly amazing, and for all the gym girlies and all the movement girlies, you know what I'm talking about. That's it for today's video. I really hope this video helped you guys out. Comment below your 2024 goals. I'm also running a giveaway on my Instagram. If you just started your fitness journey or you're wanting to start your fitness journey, this giveaway is for you. I'm giving away a free one month of online personal training, as well as a bunch of goodies like a tote bag, a Simply Modern Hot Pink water bottle that is so cute, my favorite deodorant, hair ties, all of the above, everything you need to start your fitness journey. So go enter. It is literally free. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.